Good day. Today we are going to focus on the fixed asset note. So uh, the name of the business is called the Martin Logistics. The information relates to Martin Logistics for the financial year ended 29 February 2020. Then required. Calculate the total depreciation for the equipment for the year ending 29 February 2020. So let's go and look at the equipment. So here is the information. Um, so information is here. Uh, trial balance. And then in here, we are told on the 1st of December. So before you go there, let's check. Our year ends on 29 February 2020, right? Now, on the 1st of December 2019, a new 3D printer was purchased for 90,000. Right? A technician was, was, was hired to install and set up the printer before it, it could be used. Right? The business invoiced 25,000 for the installation and setup. The, the installation and setup were completed on the same day the printer was bought. So actually, this means that the total cost of buying this printer it was um total cost of buying this printer um the equipment is 90000 plus 25000 so which is going to give you 115000 this is the total cost of buying this uh, equipment right so this equipment which is a, a printer was bought on the 1st of december 2019 so it's going to be december 2019 january 2020 and then february 2020 so this means that um when we're calculating the depreciation we're going to say 10 3 over 12 because this printer stayed only um three months now we are told that the equipment uh depreciation is a uh, 10 percent per annum on a diminishing balance method meaning that when we are calculating the depreciation we are going to say cost minus accumulated right now um 10 percent per annum on a diminishing balance method okay so because this um, new printer, it's still new. Because it is still new, so therefore it does not it does not have the accumulated depreciation. So therefore, we're just going to take it and multiply it by the percentage. So the depreciation is how much? Multiply it by ten percent times three divided by twelve. That is 2875. That is a depreciation for the new equipment. Alright, now let's look, let's find the depreciation for the old equipment. Now, the equipment that, that was here in the business the whole year. So, here is the equipment. The cost price of the equipment is 2 million. But then we are not told. We are not told whether um, this is a cost at the beginning of the year or the cost at the end. And here, they did not say if this was not was recorded. They did not say whether it was recorded or not. They said nothing. So, but then, they also gave us an accumulated depreciation of one million two hundred thousand. They told us it's a balance at the beginning of the year on the first of March, twenty nineteen. So let's look at the answer sheet. So according to the answer sheet, if you can check, according to uh, to the answer sheet, this cost price of two million, it's actually the cost at the beginning of the year. 
it's actually the cost at the beginning of the year. So meaning that to calculate the, the achievement, uh, we are going to say two million minus the accumulated one point two million. So that is um eight hundred thousand times ten percent. So it stayed for the whole year times twelve over twelve. So then the depreciation is how much times ten percent? Um that is eighty thousand. So the depreciation is eighty thousand. So therefore the, the total depreciation for the equipment it's eighty thousand plus two thousand eight seven five. It is going to be eighty two thousand eight seven five. Right now, um, let's continue. Number number two point two point two. Calculate the price of one VIT. The price of one VIT. Now, what they say about the vehicles? They said the business owns three identical uh, delivery vans. Um, all the three were purchased on the same day and at the same price. Right? So we are told that the business owns um three delivery vans, right? And they were purchased at the same price. And then they are saying a new delivery van was purchased at the same price of each of other vans. This purchase has already been recorded. Okay, this has already been recorded. Now, um, so meaning that actually here in the equipment, if this was recorded, they were going to tell us that it was recorded. So because they did not tell us. That it was recorded, so that is why we took that two million as the cost at the beginning of the year. Okay, so the vehicles they are one million, right? And they are selling. I mean, we bought them at the same price. Therefore, vehicles. So to find out that how much is the price of one vehicle, we have to divide by four. So one million. Divide by four, it is two hundred and fifty thousand. So the price of each VIT is two hundred and fifty thousand, right? And then now let's calculate the um, depreciation for the VITs. So on the first of September, we bought a new VIT. So now we know that each VIT. Is costing 250,000, meaning that on the 1st of September we bought a new vehicle for 250,000. Right now, to calculate the depreciation, we're going to say multiply by 25%. We are told that it's on cost, multiply by now because the total vehicle is 25% per annum on cost. Now this vehicle stayed for how many months? The new one in September, October, November, December, January, February. So it stayed six months. We are going to see multiplied by six over 12. So, therefore, the depreciation for the new vehicle is 250,000 multiplied by 25 percent multiplied by six divided by 12. There is going to be thirty one thousand two hundred and fifty. Now for the old vehicle. Now the old vehicle is called it's a uh, three vehicles, and the three vehicles uh, each they are costing two fifty. So two fifty times three, that is going to be um seven fifty. So these vehicles they are costing seven fifty. 
So these VIPs were here in the business at the beginning of the year because we are told that um, they were purchased, right? So they were here in the business at the beginning of the year. Unlike this one that was bought on the 1st of September, right? So this means that if we want, we want to calculate the depreciation, we are going to say multiply by 25%. Multiply by 20, 12 over 12 because this VIQ was here in the business the whole year. So multiply by 12%, that is going to be 187,500. So then this means that the total depreciation for the VIQ is you must add these two together. So this is going to be. 1,250 that is going to be 218,750 now let's continue now we are doing the fixed asset note so for the fixed asset note we already have the equipment depreciation and we also have the um, vehicles depreciation so which is 2 million I mean which is 218,000 750 and then we already have the depreciation for the equipment 82875 82875 so the land and building uh, it does not depreciate depreciate okay and then the additions did we buy a new equipment yes we did we bought a new equipment uh, with a total cost of 115,000. So we have an addition. And then, did you buy a new vehicle? Yes, we did. We bought a new vehicle for 250,000. Now, um, let's just uh, complete this. So to get the current value, you must say cost minus accumulated. So this is going to be eight hundred thousand, and then um, to get the cost at the end of the year, you must say cost at the beginning, which is two million for the equipment plus additions. That is going to be two million one hundred and fifteen thousand. Right, and then to get the accumulated depreciation at the end, we are going to say accumulated depreciation at the beginning plus the depreciation. So that is going to be one million two hundred and eighty-two thousand eight seven five. Accumulated depreciation at the beginning plus depreciation. Then now we can find the carrying value at the end of the year. Say cost minus accumulated. So the accumulated is 1,282,875. That is going to be A stated to 125. Then again, you come here to the vehicles. Um, for the vehicles, you can see we are not given the cost in here. We are not given the cost so but then we know that um, um we know that at the beginning of the year the cost of the vehicles they were 750 because at the beginning of the year we were owning three identical vehicles so meaning that at the beginning of the year the vehicles they were 750,000 right and then now to find the accumulated i mean to find the accumulated depreciation at the end of the year i said we say accumulated at the beginning plus the depreciation so accumulated at the, at the beginning is three seven five plus depreciation for the vehicles 218750 that is going to be five nine three 750 so 
to find the current value we must say uh, minus this 1 million so the current value is 406,250 then now we move to the land and building let's go to the land and building so what did they say about the land and building they said during a year a payment of 500,000 was made to gift renovators. 300,000 I mean, was for a new storeroom, meaning, meaning that there is an addition for the landing building. And then the balance of uh, 200,000 was for the repairs. So the repairs, this is an expense for the business. So it does not affect the landing building because it's an expense. So we have a new landing building, the addition of 300,000. Right? So cos minus accumulated well, there is no accumulated. So it's going to be like this. And then, so now um, we know that to get the cost at the end, we say cost at the beginning plus additions. So the cost at the end is going to be five million eight hundred thousand so there's no accumulated so therefore the carrying value is going to be five million eight hundred thousand